Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another No Money Spent video. Today, there's been a bunch of new content, a bunch of new exciting things that have come to the game that are going to help pad your stub count, get you some free packs, all the good stuff, get you some good cards, everything. Like, it's pretty exciting. I don't know. Pretty nice stuff. We're going to jump into it here. Let me show you what all is new. So by this time, you probably have already seen that the July Player of the Month stuff has come out, and it is none other than our Lord, our Savior, our amazing player, Austin Ginormous Big Thick Thunder Thigh Austin Riley. Big country himself. Okay, this man is going to be the greatest third, but, but but Dimu, I have I have George Brett. Shut the hell up. But Dimu, Raphael, De shut the hell up. I don't give a damn who you have. You have Austin, big, thick, Riley. Now, do you understand? We love it. I mean, honestly, this card does look great. The 113 and 120 contact is really, really good. I mean, for somebody like me that likes contact on Hall of Fame, likes it to be up there a little bit. Um, that's I'm I'm very happy with that. 102, 109 power. You parallel them once. He's 103, 110. I, I having 110 power is super awesome, and having the the other side, the same handed side, having 102. I, I I'm with that. Like I think his power is fine. I think honestly they probably could have beefed it more, but I almost wouldn't be shocked if we saw. A finest 99 down the road in October with Austin Riley where they just say F it have more contact have 125 pop on both sides or something of that nature and if they didn't I don't care this is a fine card he's very very solid I'm very excited vision at 86 is totally fine for those that give a damn about that 84 on fielding I mean that's fine he's beefed up he's juiced up I like it 69 speed <laughs> nice I think this card looks amazing. As a Braves fan, of course, I'm very excited. Third base, first base, left field, wherever you want to put him, you can stick him there. I'm probably going to put him at third, and I'll try to find somewhere to put Brett. But we, I, I'm starting to get this card. Uh, I have had the worst luck with servers today, okay? I had like, a good, like, hour where I just couldn't even connect to the damn moment. It was pretty brutal. And where some of my missions are not counting. Like, it says I have 500 XP with Munos now. I had to get, like, 1,000 XP with this damn card for it to actually count. He was parallel one at one point. And it still said I had 300. So I don't know. The servers have been bad, but I have been grinding this out a bit. I'm going to continue to grind this. As you can see, monthly award hitters and pitchers, I've been kind of getting that going. And then I've done Miranda and all this good stuff. So the way I'd recommend tackling this is, of course, do your week one moments, week two moments, week three moments, week four, five, all that good stuff. And then you're going to come down here and you're going to do the tops collection thing. You're going to see that you also get this 95 overall Starling Marte. Mets fans, you do get a card, which is fun. Um, and he's going to, he's, he's solid. You can get away with using him in a theme team. I think he's totally fine. Or maybe you're doing a Marlins team or an athletics team or a Pirates team or shit. Did he play for Arizona? I think he played for Arizona. You got whatever theme team you're doing that he involves in. I, you can get away with using. And so then what I've done is when you get these packs like right here, the 95 overall packs and stuff like that, you're going to start packing these dudes like JT. You're going to throw them in your lineup while you knock out the new conquest, which is a big thing in the movie of the show. The Shark Week conquest is always extremely like hyped and excited. Uh, it's, it's a good thing for, for no money spent players because it's a great way to get packs, stubs, all that other stuff. Now this year they have have tucked in a card which is going to be duke snyder as you can see right here to the right 95 overall second half a free card he hits righties if you want to put duke snyder on your bench if you're a dodger fan you like that now he's not a great card but again it's free whatever it fits theme teams if you like duke snyder then that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Enjoy this. I don't, I don't know what to tell you there. But that said, you're going to be grinding a bunch of packs. Somewhere the editor's going to throw up the map of where all the hidden stuff is. There was quite a bit of juicy goodness in this one. Um, I can't show you exactly because all my packs are jumbled because I've been grinding other things, getting packs too. There was a, the highlights were a, a headliner choice pack. There's a ballin out of control pack. There's a home run derby pack. So, I mean, if you have the rare round there, I mean, hell, you're making, you're making big fat stuff tax dude and i mean I, I it was fine it could i mean over the years it seems like the shark map has lost a little bit of as many packs they put in but i still think this one was pretty chalk there was big dog packs there was all there was always intense packs there was a lot of stuff in this okay so if you're looking even if you already have these cards that's free stubs but it is also i think national trading card game now have i already claimed this i haven't yet these are the packs i have as it stands today if you come over here and you go buy packs into the store you're gonna notice that it is what does this say international trade card day i didn't know that was a day but it is i collect baseball cards too you would think that i know this tank literally did not know this either as you can see he's very excited for international card day but it is a free card in here and what this is going to come with is a 10 pack a tops now or a tops batting skin which i mean like if you're into that cool and then seven tops players now these are also going to be filler stuff for you to throw 
into your binder and all that good stuff as we get McCutcheon. So we're going to go ahead and redeem our free thing. It's in there for five days. If you're like away from your console or something, then what I'd probably recommend is, I don't know, do it on your phone, do that, download the app, buy it there. You can open it when you get back or open it on your phone. I don't know, live your best life. But as you can see now, I have 67 show packs, which means I got my 10 there. And I have these international trading card things. One bat skin and seven players. We're going to rip this pack here. I'm not going to rip all my packs because you guys know I like to keep those a little bit separate. I get this bat skin, exciting stuff. I get the, I get, who is it? Bob Gibson, a bronze card. There it goes, add to the rookie collection. You get rookie Don Mattingly. And then you also get rookie Frank Thomas. Tony Gwynn, Cal Ripken, and then, uh, yeah, and then Nolan Ryan. What the hell is the diamond? My audio just went out. I guess I don't get to hear anything. Was this, is this, is this Henderson? Is there a Henderson card? I didn't look. I should have. I think there's Henderson. That's, yes. Yay. We got 87 overall breakout Ricky Henderson. Now, again, I don't know if any of these cards are going to be, oh my goodness, throw them into my lineup. I'm using them. But what it does do is allows us to sell some of the higher end uh, rookie cards that we had in our collection if we're trying to grind for McCutcheon. Uh, maybe we had a postseason card that was like 30K. We didn't want to lock him in. Bam. Now you have Nolan Ryan. Throw him in there. And then with this breakout Henderson card, there's a free breakout. I, I It's cool, I guess. I don't know. I'm just taking the stadium because, I mean, why the hell do they keep giving me these packs? I have no idea. The shark map was super fine. Uh, I'm going to continue to grind this over here. Where is it? Uh, July program here. We're going to continue to grind this because I'm currently as it stands at 117. I think another thing that uh, you could do if you have the stubs to kind of burn because you will lose, I think a little bit. But what I'm probably going to do is buy some of these cards here, like like Springer or Singer, uh, Irvin and all them, throw them in my lineup and then go and do mini seasons because mini seasons has now changed, which is good or bad because now you know longer can do your little free grind and uh and get that the choice pack the the headliner choice pack at least in here anymore so you look at the missions here if you complete this you will get a takashi set too which is pretty cool that's fine if you're trying to finish the Takashi stuff that's i mean hey if you hit the rare round here i can't remember who the hell was in it i think it was soriano but that's pretty neato go ahead and grab it him and feller i think actually so i'll probably be grinding that and that's probably how i'll be grinding some of my xp um the champion bundle still there mini season team icons we don't care about that prospect choice pack which i mean okay sure if you're still grinding those ball and pack uh there's your five golds show packs there's your five bronzes headliner choice pack this is the 25k pack is this one repeatable no this one is in single seat well it is repeatable but it's 35 extra base hits with any cubs or reds players i mean honestly that sounds horrible but <laughs> but if you make sure if you're grinding this you're throwing your cubs and reds players in five show packs headliner choice pack uh in a single season record 50 put outs with any put a first baseman that's a cubs or a red player in there and you'll be good to go there big dog choice pack set three is 60 total bases with any player that's okay all right that's cool and then this is five show packs mystery choice pack which i don't know what the hell the mission is i haven't looked and then i haven't looked at the free pass free free pass free pack i don't i guess if you draw a walk i don't know i'm just thinking out loud here but there's two missions so there's not a grindable mission like there was last season where you can continually grind you know get your 10 runs then reset and you get the headliner choice pack so unfortunately that is gone but i still think i still think mini seasons is still solid i mean great spot to grind your p your pxp especially for these missions and stuff like that for riley and i mean the takashi said too man if you're a guy that's, that's struggling for stubs, 100% you can whip that out and try to uh, try to hopefully hit something big to help you with that with the Takashi series collection stuff. So not terrible. Um, I do feel like we're incredibly close to good old um, uh, McCutcheon. I, I will probably be seeing that relatively soon. Um, I have done quite a bit of work here with these. Uh, you will see that in another video. And my stub count has gone up. I I, I know a lot of people are going to immediately say, yo, Dimu, how did you get 569K stubs? I might actually have more coming. Um, I have completely completed i've been selling a lot of stuff because the show content was late to late today i finally went through and sold a bunch of stuff as you can see i had alex woods out the ass xander bogarts i was creaming in them miles michaelis another Z we had a we had a bunch of dupes because i had never gone through and sold all the extra cards from my br pack stuff you know the the program you get the bronzes gold silvers all that i never sold those and so I went through the the legends and sold a bunch of stuff. As you can see, a lot of these are dupe players here. I had a shitload of Bob Fellers. This is the, I think this is bronze Bob Feller, if I remember correctly. Justin Morneau, I think it was the gold. So got a lot of stubs from this. I'm just going to keep going through here for, for people that are like, hey, man, 
do i do how did you get all these stubs for people that care i don't i don't know one thing that it makes me uh think i should do as well with collections and let me know what you think about this in the comment section below i think i'm gonna skip the all-star game one so i was 29 out of 44 sure and i have julio which is a very expensive card but the this featured program gives you a bunch of future star cards as well so if you come down here you're gonna see i got all these future stars for free and so it made me really 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 close on the future star stuff to where i figured maybe i should just do it maybe i then maybe that's the collection i should do instead of the all-star game content that way that i mean i could go through and sell them all but like i feel like the the i mean i still want jackie too so it, it's kind of confusing i don't really know which way to go with it but i also think there's going to be a, a there's going to be a couple more future stars that come out and then there'll be another collection where it'll be like 99 collection like a uh what is it marcelo mayer meyer whatever his name is he could be a 99 future star that you know you get through collecting i feel like that's coming down the road as well and again i i mean i'm at i'm at 29 out of 44 here and that's including my julio that's 181k if i keep the flexibility there of not locking in julio then i mean shoot i might i might be able to buy stubs of content that comes out later i don't know but as it stands future stars i'm a hundred percent done with them and none of them are really expensive i don't really know what to do there should i sell all my future stars and go just go for the all-star game content i don't know i'm still debating there but that's where i'm at little update video i'm very excited for the austin riley card i'm gonna grab him i think you're gonna love him if you don't love him you watch your damn mouth because you're gonna hurt my effing feelings and i am a sensitive boy okay we're gonna grind all that hopefully you're enjoying the content hopefully the server is smooth for you hopefully your xp is counting because i'll tell you what really ruined my day anyway let me know if i've missed anything let me know if there's any kind of pack stuff i need to be grinding so that we can try to get a big fat pack video ready to go for you and all that good stuff let me know if i should do the future star stuff since i've already got it done or if i should sell my future stars and go for the all-star game content I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Austin Riley as well. I hope you're having a great day. Please subscribe if you enjoy the show content and leave a like on the video. It helps me a lot. I love you. Bye.